are uh, researching an invasive moss species that came here in the 1800s when someone tried to breed it with a silkworm trying to make a stronger silk. Didn't ultimately work out. They made a colony in western Massachusetts and have spread in the northeast ever since. So we're trying to figure out how they spread, what trees they prefer, and how they move year to year. So ideally, it'll just give people a head start in the future when the boom does come again. Because it comes every 10 to 15 years, so we're in that cycle right now. Hopefully this research can be used to stop the spread. We're kind of doing a really broad survey of the impact of the moth. And I feel like from the data that we gather, we can kind of get a more holistic approach to any type of forest or land management. And I think a big thing that we have come across time and time again is that more diverse forest landscapes are a lot more resilient to the defoliation. We've seen some pretty uh, rudimentary techniques for trying to mitigate it in terms of taping the, the bottoms of trees to prevent caterpillars from climbing upwards versus um, we've some of our more scientific research has looked at the presence of different bacteria and viruses in terms of mitigating the spread. So it's been such a pleasure working with Avery and Morgan. They've so dived deeply into this topic and the science that it's really neat to see their fascination and interest in the topic. Uh, and I think it's led us to some interesting uh, ideas and discoveries about the spatial patterns and the ecology of this insect forest interaction. I think the coolest aspect of this research is that it's pretty much student led. Pretty much since day one, Morgan and I have been making the decisions, you know, like which points to go back to, how we're going to approach it. And I really realized like anyone can do research and how accessible it truly is if you want to do it. I would honestly say that taking GIS like transformed my college experience. Um, and it's funny saying that because I didn't even know what GIS was a year ago. And then I look at where I am now and I see how like my entire future has shifted just because of one class that I took. And a lot of the times the work that Avery and I are doing is pretty independent and then coming back and then using our um, faculty as a resource. And I think that is a skill that is gonna be really essential for my postgraduate life, whether that be um, in graduate school or in um, any job field.